Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel and today we're going to be reviewing the brand new Netflix film brought to you by Adam Sandler's company, Happy Madison Productions, uh, featuring obviously Adam Sandler as Stanley Sugarman and Bo, uh, obviously roles from Queen Latifah, Ben Foster and Robert Duvall in the first part of the film. <clears throat> Spoilers, hey, if you haven't checked it out, of course. Uh, hit that subscribe button, leave a like, and let me know down below your thoughts on Hustle. And obviously, um, yeah, let's just jump straight into it. It was in theatres early on, but obviously mostly now on Netflix. I, th I want to say this. Um, Sandler alone was incredible in this film, from playing a scout to um, a coach for the Philadelphia uh, 76, is whatever they're called. <laughs> It was incredible. You truly got to see what it's like to go through the stages in an NBA from the trial days to the draft days to playing basketball on the streets to all the different cities of Spain and London and New York and all these different places he got to travel to. The development in story with his relation with Bo and then inviting Bo's kid and his mother to um, <clears throat> the New York draft day. It also was like watching a Creed film or a Rocky film in the development and the montage of the training sequences. I thought they were well put together, you know, where they had to go up the hill and then do treadmilling and basketball training and drills. Uh, I think for me, you know, I, I've seen this round on, you know, after people have watched this, the, the film, saying it's one of the great sports films of all time. And I truly want to say, I've not seen every sports film ever. But it is an incredible watch, you know, incredible film, incredible acting, incredible story, very emotional, hard hitting because <clears throat> there's this guy um, who's a rival of Bo who's called Kermit. Um, you know, he's a typical jock looking player, you know, arrogant. He thinks he's the best in the world and he's constantly poking jokes at uh, Bo through the draft day. And one of the main things is, you know, his targets, his daughter, which I think, you know, <clears throat> is some of the most horrible things to do to target family just to get a spot in the NBA. I mean, bloody hell, you have to be desperate. And to be, to be, you're obviously not as good as you think you are if you have to do cheats, cheaty things like that. He ultimately, obviously, ultimately gets near enough beaten up. And you can see through this film, you know, criminal record almost ruins his story, you know, his life, his NBA journeys. And what I love also about his film um, was towards the end, you know, the last 20 minutes of the film, <clears throat> He goes on the airplane, uh, they're at the airport, you know, they do the send off, they thank each other, they say their farewells. Two minutes later, he gets a call, they go back to this random match where you think nothing's going to happen, it's just going to be a random match, bunch of players uh, <clears throat> playing, and then ultimately he gets the job back with the Philadelphia team, and it's because Vince has been dropped, he was one of the most annoying and... <laughs> pieces of shit ever you know you saw his reactions at different points of saying ha ha he's failing oh god he's doing well ha ha he's failing but it was so amazing the, the facial expressions he kept on making you know he saw the good in it it's like he wanted this lad to fail he wanted Bo to fail because he wanted to be right ultimately his sister came back into power later on in the film giving Sam his job back the job he had for most of the film um, in the background obviously until he quit part way through um, and leaving him having to pay for it. This, this, this girl, this daughter of Bo, who you know he entrusted, he put all his faith in, he put his whole career on the line for. And the messages, the, the, the delivery, the pacing of this film was truly magnificent. The ending's the best because you think Sandler uh, and Bo's character are going to appear on the same team, but then you see him in the Celtic costume and then you see. Sandler's character coach in the Philadelphia 76ers. It's an incredibly unobvious ending because we thought they were going to play for the same team or coach and play for the same team. And ultimately, that's not the case. And you get all these cameos from managers to players to commentators. It is a magnificent, magical, emotional, wonderful, terrific film. It technically a contingent for best film of the year, in my opinion. There's been only a few films that have stood so much out to me. And for me, Sandler has just been one of my all-time favourite actors. He knows how to do comical aspect within a drama, uh, you know, real, you know, has to, this is a film where he has to be taken serious, but there are comical elements. You have Queen Latifah in there, for God's sake, who is so funny. 
so amazing and I love everything about her when she acts. She just delivers. She's just she's just so easy to watch on screen. Uh, you watch some people, it seems forced or it's not natural, but you watch her with Sandler and it's just it just works. Sandler is just such a phenomenal actor. Uh, people have said, you know, Uncut Gems was his chance to get an Oscar. Maybe this is his opportunity to get that. If not for himself, maybe for the film, this is a film that maybe could be in contingent for it because it's a real hard-hitting story about a basketball player and a basketball coach attempting to get into the NBA and to be taken serious. The scene where he blows a kiss to Queen Latifah's character in the crowd and realises we have made it. She was so proud of him for his daughter to be at film school and watching him on TV to have got the NBA star playing for the Celtics and then to see this montage of all the players that feature throughout the film and all the other characters alike um kermit and then the other the really tall serbian guy and then the other guy all these other people who had made it to the nba as well it was a terrific terrific perfectly put together film that showcased that if they had just worked together if they had just not if they dropped their rivalries and played how they would all of them would have made it a lot sooner but ultimately they all made it anyway because they all hard were hard working they were good at what they did and, you know, it was just an incredible, credible film. A perfect 10 out of 10. I think one of Sandler's greatest films ever. I think I'm always going to put, like, some grown-ups and you, you click and stuff above it because I think I love his comedy. He's truly the best at com, one of the best at comedy, you know, his group, him and Kevin James and stuff. Um, I think his company was behind Benchwarmers, hence why, like, you know, Duvall was in this. I He did a lot of work with Shaquille O'Neal, who was obviously in Grown Ups too, And obviously to have it produced by LeBron James, a basketball player as well, he would have had the experience of going through the ranks of the NBA and all the trials and drafts and all that sort of stuff. I think it's brilliant to have an actor's perspective and the basketball perspective. And all the other people involved, they did an absolutely terrific job. And it's one of the best films of the year. It is always going to be tough when you have Top Gun, and, you know, in this year. And, you know, you've got Jurassic World and you've got Thor. Black Panther, who not many people are speaking about. Um, and so many of incredible films that are going to be dropping this year, as well as Elvis. Elvis is going to be one to watch, I want to say. But go check Hustle Out for yourself. Obviously, free to watch if you have a Netflix subscription. And let me know down below your thoughts and give your ranking if you want to. Hit the subscribe button, leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.